So here's a quick video on how you can get closed captions working with OBS Studio. This only works with OBS Studio, no Streamlabs, OBS or anything like that because they don't support the extensions. So sorry, let's get started. So I'll have a link to this in the description below. You wanna go to this, this link that has OBS closed captioning plugin. Current version, newest version is 0.17. Uh, we're doing windows here. So you just click that to download it After it's downloaded, I've already installed this on mine. So I'll, We're gonna do it this way go here This is how I usually do it open up the zip drill down now when you you get to OBS plugins Whenever you see that I right-click copy Because I'm just always a little scared to just kind of unzip something directly into uh, a Directory like that so copy OBS plugins, browse to where your OBS studio is installed. Typically that's going to be in C, program files, in my case, OBS studio, and then you'll see the OBS plugins folder. And then you just right click on some kind of blank place or control V. Hey, still ask, Hey, do you want to replace files? You do, because that's not going to delete anything or remove anything. It's just going to add to. So I've already done this. So I'm not going to do that here. So you're done with that part. Now you're just gonna launch OBS Studio, which I'm recording now, so it's already launched. Ta -da. And then you should have a doc already. This new doc will show up. It just showed up for me automatically. If it doesn't, you can always go to view docs, and then you'll have this captions doc here. You can go to tools, cloud closed captions to bring up the settings, whatever, or you can hit this sprocket right here. Now, once you have this, here's the options you're going to have. It's going to default to not having anything. You do caption source. You're going to set that to whatever your your microphone is in OBS. So for me, it's named Razor Siren. And you'll just set that here, which I've already done that. Caption when it's only going to caption when the source is heard on stream. I just leave it set as that. Language is I haven't touched anything else. All these are the defaults. This is only officially supporting Twitch. That's it. So you can show a preview if you want right here. And then turn it off. That's how you can test it if you want. So this is only gonna fire up and start capturing whenever you go live on stream is the way this is set right now, which is really handy. That way, if you're talking beforehand to yourself, like I do getting things set up for a stream, you're not going to have all this stuff already in here. So how does this work? You're done. You don't have to launch a web browser, capture a microphone every time, like some of these other tools do. You don't have to install this Twitch extension, which is handy. That's good development. I'm, I'm glad we have those tools. You don't have to do this. It uses the native Twitch closed captioning. It's just super handy. Let's try to find a stream. So you'll see like a regular closed caption option. Let's try to find one by, um, closed captions. she has closed captions on here. It says, yes, ammunition, for example, closed captions. So it'll activate this on your stream. So then your users can just click that and as you can see when she's talking ta-da post captions that's what yours would be too so then you usually just turn it on and off it's really handy because it's integrated there's no plucking extensions you have to worry about it's like hey is this gonna work on mobile is a big thing to consider just different things to consider it's just pretty neat tool I hope this has been handy. It's something I've been looking for a long time. So once I found out, I was super excited and I figured I'd make videos in case somebody else is. So, hope this helps.